Lately, we've been covering the Andrew Tate charges, showing he's been selling classes on, trafficking, money laundering, and even admitting to manipulating a 16-year-old into working for his cam business when he was 26 years old. But yes, even with all that, it somehow gets worse. The Tates have done nothing but lie and hide evidence saying that there are no charges or claims of abuse. Are they accusing you of using violence or? No. These are only some of the files and transcripts on the Tates. Does this look like no evidence? New evidence has emerged showing that the top members of the war room are also trafficking women, with another one of them being charged as well. It quite literally is a cult, and I'm not using that word lightly. Chat logs from the war room have leaked showing that he is still in the webcam business, explaining exactly how he manipulates women to fellow members, saying she's broke, can't go home, and can't leave the house. Man, I almost sound evil. They continue to lie to their fans, saying that they're only being charged for things that happened in 2021. We have been accused, like my brother said, of nothing prior to 2021 or 2022. So all of our old videos, old life had nothing to do with this. When the court documents are citing incidents from 2016, 2017, 2018, all the way up until they were arrested in 2022. He had seemingly tried to buy off a Romanian senator calling her from jail saying, so make it clear to them. You will get lots of votes when Tate says you took their side. He has a former Romanian police inspector, Luana, beat the woman when they wouldn't work. Maybe you're not listening because I'm killing you if we don't make money. Hit yourself in the mouth until I arrive because I'll give you another 10. He's been charged with rape, physically assaulting the woman. The prosecution claims he would torture the girls by having his bottom beat them in their newly acquired breast implants by lifting her arm to break the operation, after which she stated that she's not stupid enough to hit her and leave traces. And yes, I will repeat this just like I have in my past two Tate videos, it somehow gets worse. As they allegedly have Twitter and Instagram employees in their cult, banning and botting people who criticize them. This is coming from a war room whistleblower. We, we have many Twitter employees, we have Instagram employees, TikTok employees. When we want to, we can delete an account. Whatever the perceived attack is on the Tate brand, that the marketing, the post, the tweet, the thread, whatever is, uh, is purporting, we counter that with our Tate bots. We get big accounts to slander the person that's making that thread. This is a real rabbit hole, so buckle up, because Andrew Tate is not the man he says he is. He can't even groom himself. Unlike me, a real man who uses Manscaped. Manscaped is the global men's lifestyle brand that's disrupting the grooming market. You know they take it seriously just by how beautifully this thing's packaged. This is the Performance Package 4.0, a game changer when it comes to creating the ultimate men's grooming and hygiene bundle. First, we got the Lawn Mower 4.0, their fourth generation electric trimmer featuring a cutting edge ceramic blade designed to reduce grooming accidents. It has a 4K LED spotlight for when you need a more precise shave. Although your balls may look like a punching bag, you don't have to treat them like one. The Performance Package 4.0 also includes the new Weed Whacker 2.0, nose and ear hair trimmer using a 7,000 RPM motor and improved steel blades. Which is good because I'm Italian. But my favorite two products that I didn't know I needed are the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Tone Spray. Just apply the deodorant after a shower, spritz on the crop reviver whenever you need a refresher, and boom, it's like a freshly waxed car. Manscaped will even throw in two free gifts, being the anti-chafing boxers and the shed travel bag. So don't just leave them hanging, take care of your fellas. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code Willy to get 20% off, plus free international shipping. Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. I have now made two videos on Andrew Tate, going over the charges in the many, many videos he's posted incriminating himself. I have to fuck her so she obeys me. I don't give a shit about having sex with beautiful women. I fuck them so they listen to me. So I can get what I actually want, which is not them. It's a means to an end. Every single Bond girl was exploited. That's exactly what I do. Well, he's continued to incriminate himself in his war room group chat where he teaches other people how to traffic women as well, leading to at least one other member being arrested and charged. So what is the war room? It's Andrew Tate's cult of what he claims to be the most powerful non-governmental body in the world. He describes as the Illuminati, but cooler. War room is, is kind of like the Illuminati, but cooler. Powerful is the network. Huh? I'm alive. Are we allowed to talk about anybody else who, who's in there? I, want to, I will never tell you about any of the members, but let's put it this way. I'm still alive, right? So, and, 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 uh, there's been serious attempts on my life. Do so you, the, war room is, the war room is the most powerful network on the face of the planet today, bar, bar governments. Are you trying bar to keep Bar a nation up? state, the war room is, bar a nation state wanting you dead, the war room is the, is the number one enemy you wouldn't want you coming after you because they will get you.
We are uh, that good. Now, I used to think he was just being hyperbolic here, but it's not just a meme. It's dangerous, especially if you're a woman they target. Now, if you're a new member of the War Room, it's just another way for them to siphon $5,000, $7,000 out of you. But the War Room now, it's like when you join it, you're going to be paying the $5,000, but you're not just going to be paying for that. They say that's only your admission ticket. You're only paying to get access to these people. You're not paying to be respected and all that stuff. What you're supposed to be doing is pay for more stuff. As soon as you join, they're asking you, it's like, you got to pay now for the five fundamental courses which I think is like $3,000 with a discount or whatever. So $5,000 USD plus $3,000 discount. $8,000 just to get started and they will continue to gouge you for thousands more. But if you actually stick around long enough and make the money, that's when you'll be allowed in the more advanced courses. In one of the War Room group chats, Andrew Tate is giving step-by-step -step instructions on how to manipulate girls using his own as examples. In one of the leaked messages, he explains how he would isolate girls from their family by lying. He writes, update on the two girls living together. The girl that moved lost her support network at home cemented her move, talking about staying forever, can't wait for me to come back, etc. So I had to tighten the screw. So I said somebody from her hometown told me that she worked in a sex club. I literally told me made this up from the sky. He then shows the text accusing her at 1040 and then ghosting her for 20 minutes as she panics. He says, started calling her a liar and threatening to kick her out. But the real goal here is for her to agree to never go anywhere without me, not even her hometown. He then shows his messages with her. You are never going back to Timisora without me, understand? And she replies, yes, I understand. He then posts more text messages showing how he's broken this girl down all through lying, I might add. Andrew, please tell me that this is a joke because I really don't want to believe that you mean what you're saying. I'm freaking crying alone in a room and you think I'm not serious? Where am I now, Andrew? Here? Why? Because I am serious. I've left everything and everyone behind. For who? for you. Andrew then writes in the war room, I need her working, not visiting friends in her hometown. So I'm putting nails in that coffin saying my people are talking bad about her. So Andrew Tate is admitting and teaching how he gets a girl to fall in love with them, systematically tears her apart from her family and friends, all for the purpose of bringing her to Romania so she works on webcam for him. That is textbook human trafficking according to Romanian law. And if the girls didn't work or didn't pull in enough money after they moved in, the Tates would have Georgiana and Luana, their assistants, beat them. They're being charged as well. These are transcripts from DICOT, the Romanian FBI, showing them threaten a girl, saying, maybe you're not listening because I'm killing you if we don't make money. Punch yourself in the mouth until I arrive because I'll give you another 10. Andrew Tate would encourage his victims to get breast implants, and if they didn't reach their numbers, he'd make Georgiana pull at the stitches. The prosecution writes, there is no medical documents to the physical violence because the defendants acted cunningly, without leaving traces. For example, from one of the victim's statements, it appears Georgiana, to avoid leaving traces of violence, on the body of one of the girls who recently undergone breast implants would lift her arms to break the operation, after which stated she's not stupid enough to leave traces. To anyone who's still skeptical about the human trafficking charges, I beg to ask, what else would you call this? He'd manipulate the girls into falling in love with him with promises of marriage. I want to know if you're committed, serious about marriage. He'd then divide them from their family and friends through lies. I said somebody in her old town told me she worked in a sex club. I totally made this up. I need her working, not visiting friends from her old town. And then when they got nothing left, they move in with him where he traps them inside the house. So I end up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed out. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. Where they would be beaten, tortured by Georgiana and Luana. And he knows what he's doing is wrong. He proudly states in the war room, another element, since she's moved in, she's been fed, but nothing else. She's broke, can't go home, and she can't leave the house. Man, I almost sound evil. And the worst part is, other members of the chat love it, posting themselves doing the same thing, bragging about how much money they're making from OnlyFans. Fake convo with G, me pretending I love her, G speak in sense. Posting targets of what woman they plan to get next. This is the next target. We'll start the groundwork tonight and keep you all updated. She passed the PhD test. Ready for another masterclass. People are paying over 10K and putting in hours of work a day to learn how to traffic women. It's insane. And yet, it somehow gets worse. Because it's the tip top of the war room where the real crime is happening. I want to introduce you to Vlad Obu, aka Joe Lampton. He is good friends with the Tates and essentially the Romanian version of Andrew. He's seen driving fancy cars and having nice watches. He even runs and sells a course in the war room modeled after Andrew Tate's webcam business. He has been arrested as well, partly because he beat one of his girlfriends because she wouldn't get a third tattoo of his face on her. There were many witnesses. Hmm, I wonder who else makes their girls get tattoos of themselves on them. Hmm, I can't quite put a finger on it. And guess what? He's also been charged with human trafficking. Dicot prosecutors say the alleged victims were trained 
trained by beating or psychological terror until the leader of the group considered that they had become as obedient as dogs. According to Daikot investigators, Vlad Obu would have used his public image to seduce several girls through the so-called loverboy method, most of whom were without financial means. Once caught in the net of Obu, the girls end up in video chat studios opened in Bucharest, Ilfov County. The same county Andrew and Tristan were found trafficking women. Daikot even seems to refer to the same organized crime group that Andrew and Tristan Tate have been charged with creating. Daikot has reported that 31 people have been picked up and investigated in this operation. It is so much bigger than people realize. I want to bring you back to a line from Andrew Tate because it's about to get real different in a moment. Bar a nation state wanting you dead, the war room is the, is the number one enemy you wouldn't want you coming after you because they will get you. We are that good. A big reason why Andrew Tate is so screwed right now is because Dicot's been monitoring his phone calls without him knowing. Well, Andrew Tate must not be that smart because for some reason he thought his phone calls in jail wouldn't also be monitored. Without realizing that Dicot prosecutors could monitor these dialogues, Andrew Tate got in touch with a trusted woman who was supposed to contact George Simmons, who's a member of the Assembly of Deputies in Romania, and a Romanian senator, Diana Sosaka, to convey to them that if they stood up for them in the public space and the Tates are let out, they will be rewarded. Keep in mind that this has been translated from English to Romanian and then back to English, so some things might read a little weird. Tate says, also Anna, there's a guy called George Simmons, he's a protester or something, he's on Facebook and is always posting about stuff. She says, oh yes, I know. He says, talk to him and anyone else like him who doesn't like the corruption in Romania and understand that if he helps us, he will be rewarded. Talk to him and tell him this case is shit. They're Americans, they're making Romania look bad. Dicot is corrupt. She says, also Senator Sasaka, she's also a lawyer and she fought against the COVID restrictions. You remember her now? And Andrew replies, yes. Both. He then says, put them in and tell them that Dicot is corrupt and that it is very bad for Romania. It's very bad for the image. These guys are innocent. Look here, they're the victims. If you side with the boys, when the boys get let out, they'll make sure you're rewarded for telling the truth. In another wiretap to his cousin Luke, he says, make it clear to them. You're going to get a lot of votes when Tate says you were on his side. How insane is that? He felt comfortable openly saying that he was going to bribe Romanian politicians from a jail cell. Not only that, but a whistleblower has come forward claiming that they have Twitter and Instagram employees in the war room working for them. The interview was done by the news movement and the whistleblower is the person who helped create and run CobraTate.com, as well as Andrew Tate's Twitter. He's proven that he was part of the war room by leaking messages. We, we have many Twitter employees, we have Instagram employees, TikTok employees. When we want to, we can delete an account. For small accounts, we can just, we can just mark them and that's it and nobody really cares. But for bigger accounts, we use a thing called PR marking campaigns and they're out of control. Meaning that we have big accounts that side with us. We have many smaller, real looking, human like accounts. Whatever the perceived attack is on the Tate brand that the marketing, the post, the tweet, the thread, whatever is, uh, is purporting, we counter that with our Tate bots. We get big accounts to slander the person that's making that thread or that tweet or that post. When you look at Crab Crawler's account, who was the number one independent journalist reporting on Andrew Tate, with documentation going back years, his Twitter was banned and is still banned for seemingly no reason. Very convenient. In another instance, Tate sent people from the war room to go intimidate a journalist at his house. Tate writes, and don't mention my name on Twitter ever again, and it's done. Or sign the contract. Or it's just begun. Choice is yours. The guy says fair. Tate replies waiting. Done. Tate then says, I won't dox any more details. We leave it here. Tate has done this to multiple people, even bragging about it in an interview in 2022. I'm that guy. And the guy, and, and he, as soon as he could feel it, and he felt it because people turned up at his door. Once I had his address, I started putting, I didn't want to get banned from Twitter. Obviously, it happened in the end anyway. Yeah. But at first, I put his street name. Then I put his house number. And then, and, and then when guys turned up at his house, I, listen, I had to fly some friends of mine from Vegas to LA. Like, I had to spend money on this shit. This, this took time out of my life. When he looked out the window and saw the SUV, then he starts apologizing on the internet. Like, oh, bitch, welcome to the real world. Worlds have consequences. And it wasn't even hard for me to do. Richard, all I did was I sent some messages to a few private groups I'm in and said, look, cash prize, this guy needs to pay. A few private groups being the war room. It's like a bald version of 4chan. So I ask again, what is the war room? It's a $10,000 course where experts on trafficking and abuse come together and teach others how to traffic and abuse women. Only payable through crypto, by the way. And then he says crypto is the only available payment option. They trick the woman to leave their family and friends behind. Leave them broke. Make them tattoo their names on her. If they refuse, beat them. Ban accounts trying to document the situation by paying Twitter staff in the war room to do it. We, we have many Twitter employees, we have Instagram employees, TikTok employees. When we want to, we can delete an account. If that doesn't work, dox the journalist. Have members show up to their house intimidating them. Yeah. But at first I put his street name, then I put his house number, 
And then and and then when guys turned up at his house, I listen, I had to fly some friends of mine from Vegas to LA. Like, I had to spend money on this shit. When they finally get caught and are in prison waiting for trial, they try and call and bribe politicians. This group is actually kind of scary. They're clowns, I want to point and laugh at them, but they're like evil trafficking clowns. Everyone's afraid of us. And if anyone did piss us off at any point, even if we didn't want to fuck them up ourselves, we could make one phone call and they'd either be in a ditch or lose their any right to stay here. They'd have some visa issue and get kicked out the country or arrested for no reason and put in a jail cell for months at a time. Ironic. We are basically as mafia as you can get. I actually can't tell how much he's joking here anymore. Close your fucking mouth, you're just really fucking dense. If you hate me, why you talking? You don't make no fucking sense. Probably the most infuriating thing when it comes to the tapes is dealing with an insane amount of misinformation they put out. Tristan writes, A lot of Twitter detectives trying to solve my case. Think out of context video clips are proof of crime beyond all reasonable doubt? I sit here reading actual charges. And it's a false accuser whose story has been disproven already. And the allegations of stolen TikTok money. This is a lie. Now I've debunked this before, but I'm going to do it again because he keeps saying it. The prosecution is not accusing them of stealing TikTok money. If you read the court documents, it clearly states that Andrew and Tristan would traffic women and have Georgiana and Luana force the girls into making pornographic content using the website OnlyFans. They then force them to create a TikTok to help promote the OnlyFans. And him claiming that the girl's story has already been disproven, it just isn't true. He's lying again. When Andrew and Tristan Tate were in jail, messages were released by Dicot showing the two girls trying to escape his house earlier that year. We know this because he called them using the prison phone. There's transcripts. Yes, put them everywhere and say this girl says she's kidnapped when she is not kidnapped. Luke then asks, you're saying you want me to discredit them and have social media pull hard? And Tate responds, yes, screw them. Luke in the war room then posted a single TikTok of the girls dancing as if that proved anything. It only fooled Sneeko. They're in the house all the time. This is them. Does this look like women who are being held against their will? Sneeko, the girls were forced to make TikToks. That's part of the trafficking. And because of Andrew Tate's bots, this news went wild. People still believe this argument. The Tate's war room would then take one snippet out of all of these released messages from Dicot and frame it as if the girls were making it all up to get a Netflix deal, when that's not what the messages are saying at all. So no, nothing in this statement is true. Nothing's been disproven. They're literally running a smear campaign and it's only working because the court documents as well as the articles exposing it are in Romanian. The BBC is more focused on him being a misogynist than a human trafficker. Financial it's success correct. with a Bugatti and a cigar, but it comes with a side order of misogyny. How does having a Bugatti and a cigar come with misogyny? What are we doing? The Tate's new tactic is to take their own content out of context and then frame it as if they were saying that they love and respect women the whole time. They add this sad music. They think that you can do it through fear, that you can scare girls, you can intimidate girls. If you could have scare a girl and put her on the street, she's just gonna walk off and leave and never see her again. She has to respect you and love you and want to work with you. And that's done through Pimp, positively inspirational and motivating person. It's through positive energy. There's no negative energy in this business. He's teaching you the lover boy method of sex trafficking. That's what this video is about. I've already made a whole video breaking this down. It's not a video about teamwork or respecting women just because he adds some sad music. In that same video, he literally teaches you how to lie and scam them out of money. Tax is also another important element for controlling your woman. You're not going to pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. But you need to tell your girl that you're paying the tax. Because girls are lazy and girls are stupid and girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we've made this much money, but I'm going to pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. One, it's another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. So control element. Secondly, it allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. Does this sound like the love and respect he talked about in his Twitter video? I would link you to the full video, but two days after I posted mine, it was mysteriously taken down. And as Sneeko says, I've always said this on my stream. If they hide it, then it's the truth. If they have to delete it, then it's the truth. They then posted a Twitter video that ends with Andrew saying, we would never keep you against your will and then linking to freetopg.com. If at any point you want to leave, you decided you've had enough and you want to go or you want to leave, it's no problem. You can come to us and just say, these guys, I want to go. We can have a water taxi here in, in, in 20 minutes. Take you to the water taxi, take you to the airport, you can leave anytime you want. So you're not trapped, not enclosed. You're very free to leave anything anytime you like. So just, if you need to leave any kind of emergency, you don't want to be here anymore, you gotta go tomorrow. Just let Georgiana know your flights will be booked, it's all good.
So you're not trapped, not enclosed. Totally normal thing to say. The website is just an email list where Andrew writes to you over and over again that he's innocent. No case files, no facts. It's beautifully ironic that the Tates will sit there and cry about things being taken out of context when they're the ones taking everything out of context. Remember what we said about short form content out of long form videos and ignoring all context? That's all you, bro. You're the one saying how it's about TikTok money when it's not. Here is the official story. In 2021, two years ago, my brother and I formed an organized criminal gang with the intent of moving women to Romania so we could steal money from their TikTok accounts. When Dicot released the messages of the two girls who were trapped and escaped the Tates, Andrew, Tristan, and the War Room were the ones that took a small snippet of the messages out of context and posted them everywhere. For Christ's sake, they took their own video down and then took it out of context to try and make themselves look better. Here's some other annoying lies they've spread that I just have to point out. Are they accusing you of using violence or? No. They are, it's in the indictment. They're accusing them of grape and physical violence. The text says it quite plainly. The Tates also like to claim that the victims are on their side. Of the seven alleged victims, many of which are totally on our side. And it's very interesting because the girls who they've identified to add to the file are saying that we're not victims of anything and this isn't true. The two girls that are on their side are Georgiana and Luana who are also being charged. Again, taking things out of context. Well, the fact that you're not accused of a sex crime yeah. or violence. Can I say it? Tucker's a retard and should stay far away from this case. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, the fact that you're not accused of a sex crime yeah. or of violence, yeah. which I think most people don't really understand. Yep. Yeah. And they can look it up. Tucker, you need to look it up. This guy's an idiot. I think Andrew and Tristan Tate are going out in a bit of a pathetic way. They now go on all these podcasts and interviews sniveling, acting all confused. It's so beta when less than a year ago they were proud, bragging about what they've done. They said, no, but you're human trafficker via the lover boy method. I said, what's that? It's where you pretend to love them. So what, being nice? So I was nice to some girls 10 years ago? Is, is that my crime? I, I, that, maybe I did love them. But we're not together anymore, so what? I pretended? Who said I pretended? Prove I pretended to love. And then what did I pretend to love them to achieve? I was all about trying to get paid. Like my whole, I used sex as a tool to make women love me so they'd obey me and live in my house to make me money. That, that's what I wanted. The case against me is that I pretended to love, love girls to make them do TikTok for money. I get called a pimp a lot. But I, and the reason I use the term is because I don't see it as a negative term. If you would have taken that deal and taken that money, you would have been happy for a week. But two months in, when you hear the story of some poor guy who lost his house from gambling, you feel like, you feel like a piece of shit. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. So like, and it's, it's basic shit, right? You'd have Did a you guy. feel bad or no? Fuck no. To give a solitary fuck. Would you tell like I yo. don't give a f and and so would I if I did this stuff. I have a conscience. That's the whole thing about this. They have to attack our morality on a level and destroy our to the point where we don't have a conscience. They you have to have no conscience to sell your sanity. You have to be a bad person. I know you don't feel bad at all. Why the f would I? Yeah, care? I don't feel bad either. So <laughs> thank you. So I never sold out. And if I had, I don't think any of this would happen. I think this is punishment for not selling my soul. I f them so they listen to me, so I can get what I actually want, which is not them. It's a means to an end. Every single Bond girl was exploited. That's exactly what I do. You're not a victim. Look how willingly he's able to cry, lie, manipulate to try and garner sympathy. It's pathetic. Tristan is out here bragging about making his kids' lives worse. Let me have the kid. She knows Tristan take doesn't take shit. And I had to, and uh, I had to, um, and this is actually good, I, I wouldn't, I guess admit this on a live, but, but I had to uh, downgrade one of the mothers of my kids from the house she was living in. I needed her to understand that you do not fuck with me. And she was living in a four bedroom rented house and I was paying the rent and all the bills, I pay everything. I said, okay, you know what? You wanna fuck with me in that way, that's cool. You have 30 days to get out of that house. Here's your new apartment, two bedrooms. Well, well what do you mean? Now, now, now your uh, uh, child doesn't have a garden to play in. Well, that's your fault. That is not my fault. Take her to the fucking park. I don't take shit. So it's never going to get to that level where they think, oh, well, let me call the U.S. Embassy. And because he's a citizen, maybe I can. Because they know, they know the consequence. It's not going to turn out good for them or me or anybody. 
This is now my third video on the Tate Files, and I expect more information to keep coming out as the trial draws near, and yes, I expect it to only get worse. So subscribe! I personally liked it better when they were just accused of running a pyramid scheme, but hey, changes fast. I also want to take the time to thank the people that have helped me make this video. I couldn't have done it without them. Steven Larson has documented a lot of the contradictions in the Tate interviews. Murdered by Kranz is another account that's already been taken down by Tate once and has stayed on top of all the legal side of things, as well as Avalon and thoughts and prayers. I also want to thank the news movement who had the exclusive interview with the War Room whistleblower. These guys have helped me archive, translate, and organize so much information, so thank you. And shout out to the homies over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Zombie Fox, Riveter, Christina Vina, Detective Detective Pika, Mac Monkey, Bo Blacks, Necro Valley, Stefan Bildman, Abby Blackbird, The Confusing Opinion, Matt Swanson, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz McFitz, Christopher H, and the Mega Homies, Reynold Hughes, Hellison, IGP, Jason Johnson, Your Taxi, Latchkey Goth Boy, Cyber Katie, Lore Reloaded, Papa Gut, Friday 13, Eddie Chris, It's Sothy, Caden Lulin, Luis M. Gonzalez, XO Irish XO, DA Subway, and TV Anthology Reviews.